everyone! So this video is a little bit different than my typical vlog style. Um, back in January, I got together with a couple of girlfriends um, who I met through fishing a few years ago. And we all had the afternoon off, so we decided to head back to a back lake um, to target some stocked rainbow trout. Now, this adventure took place in January, but since, like many of you, I'm spending most of my time at home now, I figured, hey, why not? I'll put this video together and uh, share this experience with you. So I didn't have high hopes on this lake. I'd been here before, hadn't caught anything, and I decided just to roll the camera just in case, and here's what happened. You could tip it with one of Lori's worms if you wanted. There. It's pretty small. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. Do you want to just trim that? Lori, do you want to use this flasher? Yeah, hello, yeah. Okay. I was going to see how deep we are here. So you caught rainbows. Mm -hmm. Lori, have you? You had? Yeah, I was on the same farm. Okay, yeah. I haven't. You didn't catch one that day? I haven't caught a rainbow yet. Oh. I've, I've lost them at oh. the hole on different trips, but I have not successfully landed one yet. Hmm. Where's the other flasher? It's in that bucket. See how deep we are here. 33. Wow. So where did I drill a hole? There, here, there, there. Well, I think I'm marking. I thought I was marking something. It's nice to have no wind. Got a fish coming up. Yeah, I just marked something. It wasn't very big. I can't believe how quiet it is out here. Well, I might drill a couple more holes and set some lines up shallow. How deep is it? 24? Did you see anything at all? Hmm. Here, might drill. Oh, I'd say go right there. Well, that's still deep there. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it'd be shallow over there. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. There it is. That's the chunk that was. Mother oh, load. Yeah, so that's like. A little bit more. Still. Not very much. Still Two just feet. like 19. It's hard to get shallow here. Yeah, it must be just fairly deep. Mm hmm. Any bites? No? no? I've seen fish on this lake. I know they exist. I just haven't caught one here. I recently saw a guy I know, his girlfriend's from Newfoundland. And she made a taco, but she had bologna, and then I think ketchup, and then crushed chips. Yeah. Is that familiar to you? Like with the bologna, the taco shell? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Take thinly sliced bologna and wrap up potato chips. That's a classic. Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can find a little shallower.
I forgot that both of you girls caught rainbows that one day we were out. Because I didn't. <laughs> okay, guess what? 10 feet? <laughs> Just what I was hoping for. Yeah, this is a better depth, I think. I mean, the thing is they can cruise around from shallow to deep. One thing you can do is reel up to like halfway and, and jig there because then if they're up shallower, they can see it. Okay. I sometimes jig on bottom, then I'll move up, then I'll move back down. For a little bit. Yeah, like you can kind of just experiment because if they're up high, swimming around, then there's a good chance that they'll see it. Come on, rainbow trout. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's a fish, there's a fish. It's right under the ice. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's still, it's still there, it's still there. Okay. Oh, I just missed it, I just missed it. I'm videoing here. It's it's right on me. I got it! I got it! I got it! Yay! Oh! Yes! Hooray! Holy! Look at him shaking. It's beautiful. Oh man! This is awesome. Oh my goodness! I'll get this transducer out of the way. Hey! This is super exciting! Okay, whoa, 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 this fish is super excited too. Finally get him out here. Chill, chill, chill. He's super feisty. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm just gonna get him unhooked. Got my pliers here. Okay. He's not hooked very well. Whoa, he was barely hooked. Awesome, so this is my first rainbow trout through the ice. It's super small, but uh, you know, these fish have eluded me through the ice. I've had them at the hole, I've dropped them, I've not successfully landed one until right now. So I am super pumped and I'll, I'll come over and just show you guys. Look how beautiful that guy is. Very nice. So I'm just gonna send him back and hopefully we can find some more. There we go, awesome! <laughs> Finally! That's great. Woohoo! Yeah, so I was just chatting away with you and I was at like five feet or maybe seven and then I saw something and I kind of moved it and then it chased and then it, it went out of the beam. And then I was jigging, I felt it hit, I set the hook, kind of missed it and then it hit it again. So it was like circling around and trying to eat it. So it definitely was not finicky. And I knew for sure, like I've, I've marked little marks over there, but they weren't big at all. And they, you know, they didn't react much, but this thing was like, I want it. <laughs> so it was good. It's a good sign. They are pretty, eh? They are. Finally. I'm just so happy because I've been wanting to catch one through the ice. I've caught lots of them, uh, like, in open water, but... Catch another one so we can get a picture. Yeah. <laughs> that was really silly. <laughs> <laughs> so big thanks to my friends Jen and Lori who joined me on this adventure. I cannot wait until we're able to get out on the water together again. Um, we always have a blast. And thanks to you guys for watching the video. As always, if you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you below. And with the extra time that I'm spending at home nowadays, I will certainly have more videos coming. So please subscribe and I will see you soon.